Hello everyone! Uh, this is the last video I'm making uh, from the match uh, Alpha Zero versus Stockfish and uh, please don't ask me to do any more videos. Uh, if we continue doing this we'll be unable to enjoy human chess uh, for the rest of our lives. Uh, or until young Misha uh, starts playing at a 3000 ELO rating but uh, you know who knows when that might happen. Uh, so this is another game where uh, Alpha has the white pieces and uh, it's, it's a brilliant example uh, how to sacrifice your pawns. I mean, uh, Alpha sacrifices a pawn and uh, cripples Stockfish for the rest of the game. You'll see what I mean by this. Uh, again, we have d4, knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, and bishop and uh, b6, uh, the queen's Indian defense. Uh, g3, bishop to b7, uh, bishop to g2, now bishop to b4 check, uh, bishop d2 blocking, bishop back to e7, uh, knight to c3, c6 now, e4, d5, uh, e5, knight to e4, and uh, alpha castles. And here we have bishop to a6, uh, attacking this pawn twice, and the pawn can't capture on d5 because the rook on f1 is hanging. And here a very interesting move by alpha 0, uh, b3. It sacrifices a pawn, and uh, Stockfish has the option of either capturing the knight and then grabbing a pawn, or uh, winning the bishop pair with knight captures on d2. Stockfish decides to go for knight captures on c3. Uh, bishop captures on c3, and now we have uh, deep captures on c4, grabbing a pawn, and uh, this is Alpha's idea, b4 now. And for the price of one pawn, this bishop on a6 is looking very silly now. Uh, and although I, I do think this is a, a very nice variation to remember uh, that Alpha just played, uh, I don't think we'll be seeing any Queen's Indian defenses uh, for black in any top Grandmaster games. Uh, I mean, if they see Alpha Zero's uh, games against the Queen's Indian defense, then it's uh, very likely they're not going to play it. Uh, b5 uh, and knight to d2. And now Alpha Zero has a very important mission for this knight. It's coming to e4 and then to c5. And from c5, uh, it will uh, block this c6 pawn from ever uh, being pushed to c5. And then this bishop will be locked in for the rest of the game. Uh, we have castles. Uh, knight to e4, bishop to b7, and now first queen to g4. Uh, stopping any ideas of c5. If, if you push c5 now you lose the game immediately, as black wouldn't really mind giving up a pawn to release this bishop, uh, but knight to f6 uh, and uh, black is lost. Uh, for example, bishop captures, e captures on f6, you have threatening checkmate, and uh, also the bishop on b7. After black stops this, queen captures on f6, simply bishop captures b7, you lose a piece, and uh, the rook on a8 is coming off next. So after g4, uh, knight to d7 was played, and now knight to c5. Uh, attacking the bishop, uh, but uh, alpha 0 isn't really interested in grabbing this bishop, it's a, it's a useless piece. Uh, it's just that the c5 is a very nice outpost for the knight. So stockfish eliminates it, knight captures on c5, d captures on c5, and now, as the c6 pawn and the b5 pawn are locked in here on light squares, uh, this bishop can no longer enter the game uh, by, by any means. Uh, a5 by Stockfish, a3. Now a captures some b4, a captures some b4, and uh, uh, Stockfish, Stockfish exchanges a pair of rooks here, uh, and queen to d3. It seems like uh, it managed to infiltrate uh, alpha zero's position, uh, but after rook to c1 and rook to a8, now maybe threatening ideas like rook to a2, it does seem like an interesting idea. Uh, alpha 0 simply plays h4. And uh, queen back to d8 by Stockfish. If you try something like rook to a2 to infiltrate the position, uh, then bishop to e4, attacking the queen, now h5, uh, trying to uh, deflect the queen from the defense of the bishop on e4. But after queen f4 and queen to d7, rook to uh, queen to f3 first, attacking the h5 pawn, uh, and after black defends this, g6, then rook to d1 with a tempo on the queen, and uh, white's white's position is 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 really good here. This is uh, uh, this is excellent for white. Uh, so instead, after h4, queen to d8 was played by Stockfish. Uh, bishop to e4 now, uh, queen to c8 and king to g2. Uh, queen to c7, uh, we have queen to queen to h5, attacking the h7 pawn, g6 now, but queen back to g4, uh, bishop to f8, h5 now, rook to d8, uh, queen to h4, uh, queen to e7, offering a trade of queens, now queen to f6, 
and uh, Stockfish uh, Stockfish doesn't want to exchange queens here. Uh, it plays queen to e8. Uh, if you play queen captures on f6 here, uh, after e captures on f6, uh, it's uh, it's going straight into the end game, and uh, still Black can't get rid of. Uh, I mean, this bishop on b7 is not playing the game, so it's like uh, Black is being down a piece. It can't uh, afford exchanging queens. Uh, so after queen to f6, queen to e8, uh, rook to h1 now, uh, rook to d7, h captures on g6, uh, f captures on g6, and now queen to h4. Uh, we have queen to e7, again offering a trade of queens, queen to g4, rook to d8, and bishop to b2. Uh, queen to f7 now, bishop to c1, and now c3. And it's... Uh, Probably this c3 move was played to to limit the movement of this bishop, but uh, Stockfish will actually lose this pawn now. Uh, bishop to e3, uh, bishop to e7, and now que <coughs> queen to e2. The queen is now coming for this pawn. Uh, bishop to f8, queen c2, and bishop to g7. Uh, queen captures on c3, and queen to d7. Uh, rook to c1. Uh, queen to c7, now with a double attack on the e5 pawn, but uh, bishop to g5 first with a tempo on the rook. Uh, rook to f8 and f4 now. Uh, we have h6, uh, bishop to f6, uh, bishop captures on f6, uh, e captures on f6, and queen to f7. And now it seems like uh, Stockfish is ready to grab this pawn, but uh, this, this, doesn't, uh, this isn't as good uh, for black as Stockfish would hope it is. Uh, rook to a1 now. And it's uh, it's just a worse position for black. Uh, queen captures on f6 was played. Uh, queen captures, rook captures, and now rook to a7. Now the rook is going after this uh, silly bishop on b7. Uh, and the problem is the only way to defend it is rook to f7. Uh, I mean, you can go bishop to c8, but uh, then you get rook a8 and you immediately lose the c6 pawn. Uh, so rook to f7, and now bishop captures on g6. Uh, grabbing back that extra pawn, and now white is simply much better. Uh, rook to d7, uh, king to f2, king to f8, now g4, uh, bishop to c8, <clears throat> and now Stockfish would definitely uh, like to exchange rooks, and then maybe maybe this game could be played, you know, this bishop could go to d7, e8, maybe exchange bishops and play on. Uh, but still, you have to see that uh, Alpha has two pawn islands and Stockfish has three pawn islands. So, uh, you know, this is basic chess. Uh, two pawn islands are better than three pawn islands. Uh, so, rook to a8, pinning the bishop. Uh, rook to c7 now. Uh, you have to defend the bishop and also kind of defend the c6 pawn. Uh, if you play something like king to g7, uh, you know, if white captures this bishop, then uh, stockfish captures this one, uh, this isn't good. Rook captures, king captures, and then king to e3. Not immediately capturing the c6 pawn, but first king to e3, uh, not allowing the rook to infiltrate with rook to d4 and attacking both of these pawns. So after king e3, it's pretty much over. Uh, king f6, now rook captures, uh, rook goes for the other pawn, and after a couple of checks, uh, there are no more checks, and after rook moves, you capture the other pawn, and now with being up two pawns, uh, a completely winning position. So after rook to a8, rook to c7 was played, and now king to e3, improving the position of the king. Uh, h5, and it seems like, uh, like a weird move, almost as if uh, Stockfish... Uh, blundered in, in time trouble, but uh, you, you you can't uh, protect this pawn, this pawn is uh, is gonna be lost either way. If something like king to e7, uh, then king e4, and after something like bishop to d7, I mean you have to play something, you, you have to maybe somehow activate the bishop, then rook h8, uh, you're losing that pawn either way. So after king e3, h5, uh, g captures on h5 now, alpha is up a pawn, king g7, uh, rook to a2 now, uh, rook e7, bishop to e4, now attacking uh, the c6 pawn, e5 now, uh, bishop captures, uh, pawn captures with check, king captures, now alpha is up two pawns, rook f7 check, king e5, and this is now only a matter of uh, small technique, uh, rook g2 check, uh, king f6, now king is coming uh, for, for the b5 pawn, uh, bishop f5, king b6, uh, rook to h4, King to a5 now, first protecting the pawn, 
uh, bishop to g4, now bishop captures, uh, king e7, and uh, after rook g3, bishop c8, uh, rook e3 check, king f7, and bishop to e2, uh, in this position, stockfish resigned. So, uh, as you can see, after that, one pawn sacrifice, and uh, that knight c5 move that allowed these pawns to control the b5 and c6 pawn, uh, this bishop was locked in for the rest of the game. And although it did get untangled, uh, in the end of the game, it, it, was, it, was, it was too late for him. Uh, Black had to give up too many pawns to activate this bishop, and, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a really good example of, of how to play chess, you know, just, uh, you know, that bishop a6, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's a good move. Uh, obviously not. Uh, I mean, may maybe you need to play it uh, somehow differently. But after that, b4, it really, it really just uh, ruined the black's, uh, black's whole game. That bishop was locked in for the rest of the game. So yeah, <clears throat> this is the uh, fifth game I'm showing by uh, Alpha Zero versus Stockfish. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed them and uh, all the rest of them. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here, but I will put a link in the description where, where you can uh, check, check out the playlist with all of the five videos. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, don't, don't ask for more uh, Alpha versus Stockfish videos. I will see you soon.